All right, it is National Pet Day, and these are just a few of the furry friends that belong to some of our morning show team here at CBS News New York. We've got those pictures for you. If you're interested in uh, adopting a pet, to your family. Now is a great time to adopt. According to the Best Friends Animal Society, many shelters struggle during the springtime when there are more pets coming in and less adoptions. So your new best friend could be sitting in a shelter near you. Here to tell us more about how you can adopt a pet in need is Hannah Stember from Best Friends Animal Society in Soho. Hannah, thanks for taking a few minutes with us here this morning. Good morning. Hey, so quickly, before we start, just tell us a little bit about your organization and what it does here in New York City. So Best Friends Animal Society is a national animal welfare organization that's dedicated to ending the killing of dogs and cats in America's shelters. And here in New York City, we have our Best Friends Life Saving Center. It's in Soho at 307 West Broadway, and it's a place to adopt, foster, volunteer, and learn more about our mission. So if people aren't ready to fully commit to adopting a pet, what about fostering? Talk to me a little bit about that program. Fostering is a great way to figure out if you are ready to adopt. I like to call it a test drive. So you can take home a pet or more, a couple of pets home for a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks until they are strong enough to get adopted or if they just need extra room in your local shelter. It's a great place to get them out of that shelter environment. So they can open up and we can learn more about their personality and you can help them get adopted, help them learn good manners within the home. Because that's the last thing we want for these pets is for them to be adopted only to have the family then turn around and be like you know what this dog or cat's not for us and then to try to return it days or weeks later we don't want that so what well, are at some the same time, that's okay yeah. because we want it to be a lifestyle fit right so yep. when you are looking for your pet you do want to make sure that they do fit and best friends and other shelters as well we do take back any animals if they're not working out but yes fostering is a great way to figure out if it is right for you some important things that people really need to consider before they seriously kind of jump in and, and do a pet adoption um, lifestyle, of course, you know, are you a couch potato? Do you love running? Um, do you have a family? Those sort of things. And you can tell the adoption specialist and they can work with you to figure out a pet that, you know, likes to just watch TV and hang out on, on the couch or likes to go for runs would be good with kids or other pets, things like that. So you really want to consider your lifestyle, how often you're home, what you like to do, and make sure that you're finding a pet that does fit in with that rather than trying to change your lifestyle around a pet. All right, let's meet some pets now that are in need of some new homes. Up first is Ronnie, an eight-year-old mixed breed. Yeah, so Ronnie is, a, he's a big boy. He's 85 pounds, wow. but he is so sweet. Um, he can just sit for hours with anyone just getting some pets and some love. He's very friendly with people. He loves other dogs, um, but he is a large guy. So, you know, anyone who has experience with larger dogs would be a great adopter for Ronnie. That's so cool. Ronnie is a good looking doggy. That's for sure. Next is Greta, a domestic short haired cat. Yeah, so she's four years old, and when she first arrived, she was definitely anxious, a little tense, but she's been working with the behaviorist. She's getting a lot of love and patience and understanding, and she's become very, very comfortable. Um, she is on an anti-anxiety medication, which she'll have to continue being on, but, um, you know, anyone that's good with cats and learn wants to learn more would be a great fit for Greta. Hey, half of America's on an anti-anxiety -anx medication. She'll fit right in. Um, yeah. Next. Next is, now is it Eloho? Is that this three-year-old husky mix? Yes, you've got it. So she's fully grown at 57 pounds and she's very, very gentle. Um, she is newer to our program. We are getting to know her a little bit, but she, you know, is a husky mix. So she'll need lots of exercise. Um, so again, thinking about your lifestyle, if you're someone who likes to get out there a lot and move, then um, Aloha is probably your gal. That's awesome. And last but not least, Shane is a nine-year-old black cat, another beauty. Yeah, so like, again, also like many people, Shane is shy. Um, it can take a little bit of time for him to feel secure in a new environment, but he's so gentle and he's very independent. So he'd do well in a quiet home, probably without other cats. Um, and people would just, as long as they're willing to work with him a little bit, give him time to acclimate, you know, it, it's a good, good rule of thumb when pets first come into your home, right? They're not gonna be their typical selves that you're gonna know for years to come. You gotta give them a a little bit of time to open up, but it'll all be worth it. Like with everyone, you just got to kind of let them relax and get a feel for the room. Hannah, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Great to talk to you from Best Friends Animal Society. We really appreciate it.
Thank you. Okay, if you're interested in adopting any of the pets we just talked about this morning, we'll have a link to the Best Friends Animal Society on our website. Just visit cbsnewyork.com.